Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, again, this is Mr. Letty from IS-238. It is Friday, November 13th, and the time is 1.03 p.m., and I'm just making note of that because for those of you who watch the recording later on, everything I say now may change depending on when you view this. Uh, but I know there's been a lot of uh, information going back and forth the last two days about the state of school. And we received, I received well, all principals an email from the chancellor last night. And I will just read a, a few parts of that. Out of an abundance of caution and to keep our school community safe, I'm asking all schools to be prepared for a brief time of fully remote learning system-wide. And while no decision has been made about a system-wide transition to remote learning, as every great school leader knows, we must be prepared for every scenario. So we were alerted to the fact that we could go full remote uh, at when we don't know yet. Uh, and when I scheduled to have this meeting this morning, I know since then, I believe about an hour or so ago, the mayor was on a radio show and he had stated that the schools could close as early as Monday. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it was put out there and you may see that later on the news if they're not already covering it. Okay, so. As of right now, as I said, this time now, 1.05 p.m., school is open. So some things we need to make sure we take care of before then. If you are a remote-only student, then your educational experience at this point will not change all that much. If you are a remote-only student and you are planning to switch to blended, then you should be making that decision by visiting the school website and that portal to choose blended learning will close on Sunday. So let me just get out of here for one second. And bring up the school website so we can see where that is. And go back to the share. Okay. If you are remote only and want to send your child back to blended, you have to fill out the learning preference survey on the school website, which is www.is238.com. It's right here on the first page. And when you click it, it will ask you to put your information in. And again, between November 2nd and November 15th, which is Sunday, that will be the last time you can opt into blended. As of right now, if you choose remote, if you do not choose blended and you stay remote, you will be remote for the remainder of the year uh, until June. That's as of right now. If you choose blended, then you would begin to come physically into the building sometime between the week of November 30th and the week, week of December for, uh, 7th, I believe that says. 7th, yes. For those of you thinking about switching to blended, we have a two cohort model. It's group A and group B, and that is also on the school website. And this was the November group A, group B calendar. So if you are a remote student and your family has decided they want to switch you to blended learning, then you would start this week. And if you were put in group B, which we would let you know before, you would start Monday. If you were put in group A, you would start December 1st, Tuesday. So any new, any new 
remote only students that switch to blended learning. The portal closes on the 15th and you would start school either November 30th or December 1st physically. Okay, so we do, we will reach out to those parents once the portal closes on November 15th. Now, the other thing we're going to need parents to do is, hold on. The My School apps, the family inquiry, in, the family income inquiry form that's also on the school website. And you can fill that out. You click the link there. And this pops up and you click get started. And then it will ask you to enter the zip code of where your child goes to school, which is 11423. Or you could select the state of New York. You click search. You choose your district and your district is New York City Schools. And then you continue and then you would begin the process. This form replaces the what we used to call the school lunch form. We use this form to help determine Title I funding, which is why it's very important we get it filled out. Right now we are at 70%, so we need the other 30% of the parents to fill this form out. So please do so within the next few days. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now the other thing we have going on with, hold on. Parent-teacher conferences are next week. They are Wednesday. November 18th and Thursday, November 19th. The November 18th conference is from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And the November 19th conference is from 12.20 to 2.20 p.m. These conferences will be held remotely via phone or Zoom, Teams, Microsoft uh, Teams or Google Meet. Teachers are currently reaching out to parents to schedule appointments. We wanna to try to make as many appointments as we can and also spend some quality time uh, with, with families to go over some of the student work. We are going to be posting uh, teacher emails as well from the email account. Your, your children already have your teacher's emails account. So if you want to speak directly to the teacher, then you can ask your, your child and they can give you the email account or you could have your child email and say, I'd like um, my mom, my dad, my uncle, my grandma would like you to call us, here's the number. That's a, a very quick way to do it as well. All your children have access to the teacher's Google uh, school account. So please take advantage of that. But we are making phone calls out um, again, there will be some mistakes, unfortunately. There's a lot of students to call and we have other people making the calls to help the teachers out. So they may mix up sometimes the teachers' names and I know that can be upsetting, but uh, if you reach out to us, us, we will fix it. But it is, um, it's not as easy as having everybody in the auditorium say and talking when you have to call people individually, sometimes mistakes happen. Uh, I'm aware of that and we will fix it. And the best way to do that is to let us know. Okay, but next week, parent-teacher conferences will be on November 18th and November 19th. And November 19th is a half a day of school. So school will end at 1130 on Thursday. And that's for everybody, remote students too. But students in the building on that day, which are group A students, their dismissal will be at 1130 a.m. So if your child attends school blended and is physically in the building on Thursday group A and you pick your child up, your child will be dismissed next week on the 19th at 1130 a.m. So please make a note of that. We will remind you again, but make a note of that so uh, they're not waiting for you. And again, that's for all students remote learning also 1130 half a day on Thursday. Okay, report cards, the, the 
marking period will end on November 25th, which is the day before Thanksgiving. And once we tabulate all the different grades, report cards will most likely go out on December 7th or 8th. But again, we will, and they will be uploaded on the NYCSA account. So you can see the grades there. But we will give you more information about that as it becomes available. Okay. Now, all right, for any of the, the people in the Zoom, are there any questions? Uh, you can, I think, do the raise your hand feature. If you have any questions, uh, now would be the time to ask them. No, okay. All right, once again, I just want to update it, everybody. The time is now 1.14 p.m. And as of right now, schools are still open, but please um, pay attention to what's being said on the news, but really check the school website because the minute any decisions are made, I will post it and I will send a phone call home and I will also be sending a uh, home, we will be asking parents to update their blue cards. We have a digital blue card that can be filled out. It just needs to be filled out and then sent to a specific email, which we will provide to you. It's very important, especially now, as you know, to keep in touch with everybody. So the, this is our real, really our only link to everybody now is through the computer or the phone. Um, I wish that was not true, but it is. So we will be trying to get more accurate information from everybody. Okay, so again, it's 1.15. Schools are still open Monday. If that changes, I hope to uh, get that message out to you before it's in the news. I know that's upsetting, but as of right now, everything looks to be normal, but it definitely can change. All right, and once again, if you have questions or concerns, please call the school. We ask you to call between the hours of eight and three this is the best time. Also, please be patient because we are a little short in staff uh, the last couple of days. Um, this, this, um, this whole situation, while everybody is COVID free in the building, thankfully, uh, there are other health issues that um, start to get a little more pronounced with all the stress. And sometimes people need to take a, a day or two off. So uh, please uh, be patient when you call. We will get to you and we will answer your questions. All right, if there are no questions, uh, we'll end this. And again, please remember to keep up uh, to date with the school website, keep checking. Uh, and uh, I also will send out phone calls in the event of new information. All right, everybody. Okay, I hope to one day see everybody in person again. Have a good day and enjoy the rest of your weekend.